So you use jump and you'd like to rapidly uncover relationships across a collection of variables. So how are you going to do that? In this video, I'm going to show you two methods. First, I'm going to use the fit y by x platform. And you're going to see me use the broadcast command to very rapidly fit a line across all of my graphs. And then I'm going to show you a very easy way of ordering those analyses by goodness of fit. The second method is to use the column switcher tool. Now this works across all platforms and you'll see me demonstrate it using the graph builder platform. So here I am in jump and I'm going to launch fit y by x. I have a response variable and I have multiple variables that I want to explore. Now I'm only going to take the continuous variables because what I'm interested in is creating bivariate plots. So I have my bivariate plots. What I want to do is fit a line through these just to emphasize uh, the relationship. Although there would be other ways of emphasizing the relationship. We could put a density curve or a density area if that was more appropriate. The key thing to uh, remember is that if we just come into the uh, red triangle and fit a line, it's only going to fit a line to the one graph. We want to fit a line to all of the graphs. There is an important concept in jump and that is the notion of broadcasting a command. When you press the control key to perform an action, that action is broadcast to all similar elements within the report window. The action could be to resize a graph. It might be to open or close an outline within the report window, or it could be selecting an option from the red triangle menu system. So I'm going to broadcast the fit line by X. So I'm going to press the control key as I do this. And now the fit line is applied to all of my graphs. I can still use the control key just to close the statistical output. So now I've just got the visual representation. So I can quickly scan these now and get a sense of where the strongest relationships are. You can see that this graph here is the strongest relationship. But there's one other nice feature within here, and this is the ability to order these by goodness of fit. So now what I have is the strongest relationship in terms of a linear correlation is on the left hand side. And as I scroll through to the right, that correlation diminishes. So that's a very powerful way of not only exploring relationships between multiple variables, but also ranking them in relative strength of correlation. The second method is to use the column switcher tool. Now this works across all platforms and you'll see me demonstrate it using the graph builder platform. Let me launch graph builder. And the first thing I'm going to do is just create a graph of two variables. And that's my graph. So what I would do is I'd prepare this graph to contain whatever information I want. So instead of a smoothing curve, I could put a fitted line in here, but I'm happy with a smoothing curve. It's a very general way of showing the relationship between two variables. Now I want to attach the column switcher. I can either come to the toolbar and choose the icon, or I can from the red triangle come to redo and select column switcher. This allows me to select one of the two variables that are associated with this graph. I want to have runtime, that's the X variable, and I want to then swap it with a list of variables. And that's the column switcher now applied. And what this allows me to do is very rapidly scroll through and look at the relationships across those variables. Now the column switcher requires a few extra mouse clicks, not many, but maybe just enough to put you off using it. So I'm going to finish by reminding you how jump allows you to reduce the overall number of mouse clicks that are associated with any repetitive activity. So one final thing I can do is just to make sure I save this as a data table script. Let me call this graphs. 
So now what does this mean? It means the next time I come to this data table, I can just relaunch the platform together with the column switcher and very rapidly identify the important relationships. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button below. And think about subscribing so you can easily find future videos. Thanks for watching and bye for now.